developing tonight. A man jumps through a glass window at a D.C. pregnancy center and then puts a four-year-old girl in a chokehold. That guy's behind bars tonight. And we're hearing from Good Samaritans who rushed in to save that child's life. Fox 5's Tisha Lewis joining us live now from Northeast with more on this story. Tisha? Well, the attacker has been identified as 28-year-old Idris Augusta from Springfield in Fairfax County. But yesterday afternoon, he was running around this pregnancy center, apparently only wearing green underwear before he went headfirst in that window. Janet Dorick says crews are coming to remove blood from the walls and replace windows after 28-year-old Idris Augustus dove headfirst through this glass pane. He took a terrible fall, and then according to the, uh, the blood that's on the walls and on boxes and on baby clothes and on various items that we have downstairs, he was very disoriented and went to the lower level and then finally found his way to the front door and went out the front door. Ran down that alley and they caught him a block away. But that's just the beginning. The bizarre behavior continues for Augustus, who then reportedly ambushes a four-year-old girl from behind. I just was hoping and praying that he didn't, you know, kill this little girl. I kept saying, don't kill her, don't kill her. I, I saw blood. The child is thankful to be alive, and we're told she's doing just fine despite the close call. If, if it wasn't for the people and the men, definitely, she wouldn't be saved just because of what I did or my mother did. It was because those men came out of those cars and helped to, to free her. That's what really saved that little girl. All this took place Wednesday afternoon near Maryland Avenue and 8th Street in Northeast with plenty of witnesses and help. Keep your eyes open. Look around. Things are happening. This is, this is D.C. and it's, it's scary. Augustus, who lives in Spring Field in Fairfax County is facing several charges, including assault with intent to kill and cruelty to children. We're told there were no patients at the pregnancy center at the time of the encounter, just an employee and an intern. Thankfully, they're okay. We're also told that the center lost all of its boys' items that they give to those in need due to Augustus's blood staining them. So if you'd like to make a donation, you can drop it off right here on Maryland Avenue and 8th Street. Back to you.